My name is Amr Azim, I'm a reproductive endocrinologist at New York City IVF. Uh, I want to discuss uh, what is the best ovarian stimulation protocol prior to IVF. Uh, this is the constellation of medication that you receive to optimize the number of eggs produced before proceeding to uh, uh, retrieval of the eggs uh, and other embryologic procedures. Uh, let me start by saying that any ovarian stimulation protocol has, has two main components. One component is to stimulate the ovary, and the basic medicine there is FSH, which is similar to what is produced by the master gland in the brain. It is synthetic, but it is, it is a replica of what's, uh, what the master gland produces uh, uh, internally at a graded dose, uh, given at a graded dose. The other component of an, an ovarian stimulation protocol is some agent to prevent you from ovulating prematurely. Uh, you, you want to have control over the cycle and when would ovulation takes place. Uh, and finally, the cycle ends up with an agent that actually induces ovulation. Um, in, in terms of uh, how do you select uh, uh, which, uh, which uh, 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 agent and, 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 and the succession of these medications, that's what's called ovarian stimulation protocol. Um, an ideal protocol should uh, make use of the information gained by testing of ovarian reserve how many eggs uh, in, uh, are projected to be in the ovary, how many eggs are we interested in, uh, in, um, in developing, uh, and how many eggs we would like to harvest, and, and uh, whether is that suitable to the biology of the ovary of this particular uh, uh, person. Um, uh, ideally, uh, the, the aim is to produce uh, eight or 10 eggs, uh, um, about 80 or percent of them are mature, uh, and ideally you have uh, fertilization of about 70-80% uh, and having uh, 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 three or four embryos available at the end of the cycle. Uh, and um, the, the uh, optimization of that is rela related to how do you use the medicine to be uh, tailored to this specific person. Uh, usually uh, uh, studying ovarian reserve uh, indicates that uh, uh, women are expected to be uh, uh, average responders or uh, lower responders or higher responders. For high responders uh, women, uh, caution uh, should be exercised in terms of the dose and the way we use the medicine and uh, the frequency of monitoring to avoid uh, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Uh, average responders are usually started on uh, medications uh, that usually imply an agonist or an antagonist protocols. Agonists or antagonists are the agents that are used to prevent ovulation. And uh, uh, lower responders are the, one that require, the, the ones that require uh, a lot of thinking and, uh, and uh, um, um, modification in the stimulation protocol to optimize the number of eggs uh, that will be produced. So lower responders are uh, women that are expected to produce less than five eggs uh, at the time of stimulation. Uh, they, uh, uh, the, the ovaries have low number of antral follicles uh, and tests for ovarian reserve like anti-mullerian hormone indicates a, a, a low reserve. Um, and uh, some of the modifications that are done is to try to synchronize the growth of the follicles in the luteal phase before they even start taking the medicine. Uh, and uh, this could be done uh, through uh, uh, giving them estrogen that prevent one follicle from jumping ahead of the others. Uh, other modifications to uh, maybe improve recruitment could be using androgens. Uh, and uh, um, uh, another, uh, another way you can improve success is to use a method that flare or produce their internal medication, internal gonadotropin, uh, at the beginning of the cycle, uh, or adding oral medications. There are, and, and there are many combinations of things and uh, uh, accurate uh, knowledge of a, a person's ovarian reserve, prior response, um, uh, and uh, expert uh, looking at her ovary would all share in the information into tailoring the best, uh, ovarian, uh, the best ovarian stimulation protocol. Thank you.